Welcome to Rust Admin Academy. Not to be confused with Rust Academy. I am not them. They are not me. I am doing something completely different from what Rust Academy is doing. I put out videos every Friday to show you all the different ways that you can make your server different from everyone else's to hopefully increase your population. If this is your first time to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on those notification bells so that you get notified as soon as I upload new content. Today we're going to be talking about a plugin that is going to give the players on your server a plethora of information. It's also going to give you a place where you can advertise different things or uh, give messages to your players and stuff like that. You'll see once we get into it. And why don't we do that right now? So of course the plugin that we're talking about is called Info Panel and it's by Fujikara. And it's available from the UMOD website, but I will be posting a link down in the description down below so that you guys can access it really quick and easy. So let's just have a real quick look at the plugin itself. Uh, there are, I should start out by saying that a lot of you guys have probably seen this plugin in action before. You just either didn't know what it was or didn't know what it was called. I know that as soon as you see it, installed on the server, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. Looking at the UMOD website, you can see that there are two other plugins that can work in conjunction with InfoPanel, and that's only if you choose to do that. So, and I'll show you how to turn these features on and off inside of InfoPanel once we get into the plugin. The economics plugin is a way for your players to actually earn money by doing various different things on your server, uh, killing animals, breaking barrels, stuff like that. Even just spending time on the server will earn them money that they could spend in a shop or uh, there are a couple of different ways that we can spend their money. Uh, by the way, I'm going to be doing a video on how to create your own shop and a server reward system as well. So that's two separate plugins, which is two separate videos because they, they're going to be quite extensive. So make sure you stay tuned for both of those videos. They're coming very, very soon. So the features list of this plugin um, gives you a, a real quick breakdown of everything that this plugin will display on your panels inside your server. And just below the features is, of course, the chat commands, the commands that uh, the players can use inside the server to either turn those features on or off. So I'm just going to quickly go ahead and install this plugin. If you guys have never seen how to install a plugin, I'll put a YouTube card up right now in the top right hand corner that shows you guys exactly how to install a plugin. All right, so this is what the plugin looks like once it's installed on your server. And I haven't made any changes to this yet. We're gonna get into that in just a minute here, but I wanted you guys to see exactly what I was talking about. So in the top left-hand corner, we can see a player account, which shows online as well as available slots. Next to that gives you your sleepers. And then the four icons next to that is what's going on as far as server events, whether it be an airdrop incoming, the cargo ship, uh, the CH-47 or the attack heli. Plus, you also have your coordinates there. In the top right hand corner, you have a section. This is where you can display different messages to your players. Just things that you want to scroll across the screen at random times, telling your players about different things. You might be announcing events or a website that they can go to or a link to your Discord. You can put in there whatever you want. You'll see what I mean in just a minute. In the bottom left hand corner, you're seeing things like the server rewards that we were talking about earlier. So um, economics is the one that's next to the clock and then uh, the actual server rewards plugin, which is called reward points or RP is the one next to that one. So we'll head back over to server side so that I can show you guys the inner workings of the plugin and how to make these changes that are important to be made. So of course, after the plugin has been installed on our server, we can access the configuration file for that plugin, obviously in the config folder inside Oxide. And this right here is what the default config file looks like when you first open it up. I haven't made any changes to this. This is exactly what you're gonna see when you open this on your server. So the top section that you see there is compass directions. Now this feature of the plugin is basically obsolete now because we have the in-game compass and by default, it's actually turned off in the config file. So it's not even really something that you have to deal with. Now you can turn this feature back on if you'd like. And then if you do, you can also determine in this section here what it actually says on the screen when the player is facing in whatever direction it is that they're looking at. The next section is called docs and this is basically the four different quadrants of the screen uh, where you can place these different uh, info panels. So we basically we have top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. 
obviously. And the coordinates that you see inside each one of these sections determines where the placement of that quadrant is going to be on the screen. So as you can see, most of our information right now is on the top of the screen. So we've got the server information in the top left, and then we've got our messages in the top right. Well, we can change that around so that everything is on the bottom or everything is on top, or you can configure it however you want, whatever works best for you in your server. This section here, the next section down is the messages section. So this is what appears in the top right hand corner by default. And it is probably one of the most important things that you need to change on your server in order to make it so that it doesn't appear like you just threw this plugin into your server and made no changes to it and you didn't really care how it appeared. Because as soon as somebody sees the words Leroy Jenkins up in the top right hand corner, they're gonna know that you didn't put any effort into installing this plugin and you don't really care about the details. Your players will notice these small details that you make on your server, the, the fine tuning of things. Your players notice that and they're going to appreciate it, trust me. So at default, it comes with three suggestions, but you don't have to use three. You can use one, you can use two, you can use 10 different messages in this section if you want. So as you can see here, I've added a couple of more and I've taken out the default messages so that it doesn't say Leroy Jenkins. And it's just some pertinent information that we might feel that our players might be able to use. The next few sections below the messages are the different types of info panels that you have on the screen. So it can be your airdrop icon, it's your cargo ship icon, it's your or your players online or your sleepers. These are all the different panels that you can either turn on, turn off, change where they're located. Uh, you could change the color of the background of them. Uh, this is where you would make all those changes or you can turn these features on or off. So let's say for example, uh, we didn't want to alert our players when there's a airdrop event. So let's just turn that feature off right now. So we do that by changing line 62 to false, as well as line 70 to false. So what this is doing is turning the actual airdrop icon off, as well as its background panel. If you don't turn off the background panel, you might still see a little gray box where the icon used to exist. So let's just save and reload this plugin and see how it looks on the server. I've gone in and changed the configuration file to take out the notifier when there's an airdrop. So as you can see in the top left hand corner, there's a green airplane there indicating there's an airdrop incoming. So I'm gonna reload the plugin and you'll see exactly what happens when I make both of those lines false and then save and reload the plugin. So let's have a look. So there you go, it did exactly what I expected it to do. It takes out the airdrop icon and you can still see the other three. So you can do this with every single one of these panels that are shown here. So we've got the balance, which is the money that your players can earn. We've got the cargo ship event. We've got the Chinook event. We've got the clock in the bottom left-hand corner. You can turn that off if you'd like, or leave it on. We've got the compass, like we said at the beginning, this is turned off by default, but of course you can turn that on by changing these same lines to true, which is line 222 and line 230. It will turn on so you'll basically double up and have two compass systems on your server, which that's fine if that's what you want to do. We've got the coordinate section. So top left hand corner, we have the exact coordinates of where our player is positioned on the map. We can turn the coordinates off. Oh, and because I didn't go into it at the very beginning of this sectional breakdown, this is where you can change the which dock it's sitting in. So which quadrant of your screen it's sitting on. The coordinates are in the top left dock, but we can change this simply by changing this line right here, line 268. We can change it to top right, bottom left, bottom right, whatever you want. Wherever you'd rather see that information, it allows you to put it there. Of course, we have the helicopter event. We have the same configurability for the message box, so we can change if we don't want the message box in the top right hand corner, we can put it in whatever quadrant we want. In the section for message box, there is a section where you can control how often the messages flip to the next message. Uh, by default, it's set up at every 20 seconds, it flips to a new message. So you can change that to as long or as short as you want. 20 seconds seems to be okay. Uh, but like I said, whatever works best for you. Anyways, you guys get the point. You can control each individual panel that is displayed on your screen. Um, I'm not, there's more in the list here that I'm not going to go through, uh, because they're all exactly the same. The, the 
controllability is exactly the same on each one of them. So you guys have a pretty good idea. If I didn't cover something well enough, be sure to leave me comments down below so that I can go back and do a better job for you guys in my description on how to control these things. All right, that about sums up info panel. I hope this was helpful. This was a request from a viewer. I hope this answered your questions. And if it doesn't, of course, always leave me comments down below and I'll make sure to go back and go more in depth to fully answer the questions that are being asked. I hope you guys are enjoying this series of videos. If you are, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos in this collection, be sure to click one of these boxes right here. I'm not sure where it's going to end up. And if you haven't already, there's also going to be a circular subscribe button. And I hope to see you guys very, very soon. All right, that does it for this video. I hope to see you guys in the next one.